Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested by someone on our YouTube channel, wants to know about SVC host.exe files and how we can look at them and find out uh, whether there's infections and stuff on there. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is take a look at a free program you can use which uh, analyzes the actual SVC host.exe files. Now, what is SVC host? Well, SVC host is a generic host process for the Win32 services. Okay, and it's and it, what it does is an integral part of Windows operating system. You can't stop it and you can't restart it manually. And the process manages system services that runs from dynamic link libraries. Okay, and these files are the actual .dll files. Now, some examples here of some of the system services that use these are automatic updates, uh, Windows firewall, plug in and play, fax services, uh, Windows themes, and so on. Okay, there's loads of different types. And what it does is it starts up um, on the startup, the SVC host will start up, and then the service portion of the registry constructs a list of services that it also needs to load. Okay, under normal conditions multiplies instances of the SVC host.exe will be then running simultaneously. So what we're going to do is show you an actual uh, piece of software that you can use to have a look at these, which is very useful. Now you can get that from this website here. Okay, it's a free download, uh, as you can see, and uh, there's some good useful information on here. So what we're going to do is uh, go through the motions here now this works with Windows XP right up to Windows 7 so what you want to do is I've got the actual program on my desktop I'm going to right click this and run this as administrator like so and once that runs you'll see it start to build up all the SVC hosts there and what it will do is it will give you some warnings that you may have now as you can see we've got one warning found and also it's found 11 SVC host.exe uh, processes okay and it contains 104 services of the .dll files so what you need to do here is click details there's a bit of blurb here you can read uh, gives you some information and all you need to do is click on the details part and as you can see this is the one that is found that it thinks is suspicious okay now you will have loads of these if you've got um, viruses or malware on the system but it's also a good thing to actually go through here and learn and it gives you the ID number as you can see here and also where the location is now the location generally is in Windows and System 32 that's where they all live so that's where basically they all are and uh, all you need to do is come through these actual folders here and as you can see there's loads of DLL files related to each service or each SVC host file so you can click on these and and you'll go through them and you can see whereabouts and what they are inside their DHCP client and it gives you a long list of stuff okay so what I'm going to do is try to infect it with some SVC host um, malware here that runs inside SVC host and see whether this picks it up and whether we can spot them so what I'll do is I'll just quickly infect it so give me two seconds Okay, so I've infected the system uh, with, an inf with an infection that will show up uh, an SVC host uh, file as an infection here. So I'm going to run the scan again as administrator. Okay, and let that run. And as you can see, it's found three uh, warnings now. So I'm going to get the details for this. And as you can see, we've got an infection there which is a Windows installs SVC host.exe file it's a no Microsoft file there no service and as you can see one on the desktop there as well but you would have loads of different types that are infecting the system and uh, once you really get a bad infection and you can then root them out and find out where they live and how to delete them and it's pretty straightforward so that's how you can view the SVC host services and files and DLL files with this type of program okay so I hope it's been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future if you enjoy 
these types of videos and you've got a, an idea and you want me to make a video just like this guy did then shoot me a message and I'll uh, try and do my best to make that video for you okay so thanks again for watching see you later